Well, I'm joined now by John Rita from G4S, who's one of the um, conference sponsors. John, what do you make of it so far? Yeah, no, really interesting. Uh, obviously, uh, reducing reoffending is very high up the public agenda with the recent civil disturbances. So it's really interesting to see so many people gather together to share views and uh, and uh, and ideas. And uh, we're very de we're delighted as G4S to be here. And what do you see as the future for G4S and the Quite a sort of a, a sort of a difficult and sort of challenging environment at the moment financially, but also a very kind of unpredictable and policy environment. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in terms of care and justice services, we provide quite a diverse range of services. So you know, from prisons to electronic monitoring, uh, we obviously have the work program that, that we're providing. I think the challenge for us is to adapt and to meet the government's requirements and develop some really innovative um, payment by results programs to look at programs that integrate very closely with the Ministry of Justice and, uh, and, and contribute fully to the programs in that way. And there's a lot of talk of about payment by results at the moment. How do you see the challenge for an organisation like GeForce, the private sector more generally? Yeah, I mean, I think it is an interesting one, and I think it's good as well, because I think it's incumbent on us as private sector organisations to deliver value for, for money, and I think payment by results would really guarantee that. I think the challenge will be uh, what measures do you use? So if you take um, the business that I'm responsible for, electronic monitoring, we could say that we could be measured on how compliant people are to their curfews but it would be more difficult for us to be judged on reducing reoffending because we wouldn't have full ownership of that individual for a long period of time. Okay and there's also a lot of talk of partnership between the private sector, voluntary sector, yeah. public sector. Mm -hmm. Does G4S engage in those partnerships currently? Yeah sure I mean we have a number of uh, a number of partnerships that we work with in, in the prisons. We work incredibly closely with integrated offender management u units and probation trusts in order to deliver, to deliver the electronic monitoring service but there's certainly scope for more of that. I think um, you know particularly niche third sector organisations who provide skills that, that we don't have and I think you know, we've seen under the um, work programme uh, the idea of G4S as a prime contractor and then a number of uh, specific niche organisations bringing their skills to the party and I think that's definitely the way forward. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.